What is up everybody? My name is Justin. This is Forever Self Employed and in today's video we're going to be talking about a customer who asked us to pressure wash gravestones. This is probably one of the strangest things that we've ever had to clean. So of course you know I had to bring you a video about it. Uh, as well as it was an eye opening opportunity for us because anytime that we see some new possibilities to clean some new things and uh, new customer bases to go after, we obviously get pretty excited. So in this video, I wanna to talk to you guys about the first time we ever cleaned gravestones, how it went, um, every little aspect about the job, how we got it, everything like that. And uh, yeah, so let's get into it. So this was a customer that we had done some jobs for in the past previously, uh, and they had mentioned that they had had some plots that they wanted clean. So Kale went ahead and gave her a price. She agreed to it, we went out and took care of it. Now if you guys are thinking about getting into the pressure washing business and you're uncertain about chemicals equipment workflow and things like that and you don't really feel that confident check out the first link in the comment section and the description that is gonna be a link to the how to wash course which is gonna walk you through every single aspect of the cleaning process how to clean every single service on a residential property the chemicals the equipment everything that way you can get your confidence and you can do a great job on your first job and on every single job after that so if you want to check it out first link in the comment section description now when this customer asked us about the gravestone cleaning I wasn't completely shocked uh, because I'd heard of this service before from some guys uh, that are in the inner circle and they had done some jobs like this and they had shown some before and after pictures in the inner circle and kind of talked about it a little bit but of course what do you charge for something like this so basically you can't charge by the square footage so we charge this one uh, with our hourly rate it was only about five or six plots so we figured it'd take probably about an hour we charge it at our minimum our minimum right now is ranging between 200 and 250 depending on how far the job is from us because as you guys know gas prices are going up so our minimums are getting a little bit higher especially if we need to travel a little bit farther out so we rolled up we did a chemical treatment on all the concrete to start breaking down the organic growth that was on it and uh, we actually went with a pretty strong mix on this one because as you guys know you can go with a pretty good mix on concrete we let it dwell for a little bit so that way it could start working on some of that organic growth and then uh, we pressure washed everything clean and these came out even better than I thought they would now I got stung by a wasp early on in this job and Jacob and Buddy are super allergic to wasps those are guys that you typically see in the video uh, so they hung out by the truck because if they get stung by a wasp they could die and they didn't have an EpiPen or anything because they're extremely allergic so note to sell or note to Jacob and Buddy, uh, keep an EpiPen on the truck because this is pressure washing, baby. You could get stung at any any opportunity or any chance, you know, because I got stung on this job. Uh, but we finished up the cleaning and the lesson of the day that I want you guys to kind of take from this video, A, keep an EpiPen on the truck if you're allergic to wasps. B, always keep your eye out for interesting niche services like this because although I won't be advertising specifically for grave cleaning, even though I could, we did get some really good before and after picks uh, that we can use in our advertising and in our marketing. And it's something new that a lot of people probably have never seen or didn't even know existed. So uh, we're going to utilize that in our marketing and take advantage of the fact that people will engage with it more. And uh, it's kind of a niche service. So ultimately, we probably get some more eyes on it and uh, land some more jobs. So if you have any niche services like this, I've, I've mentioned can cleaning in the past. That's one of the ones that... Uh, you can kind of get your foot in the door with customers that you wouldn't be able to touch otherwise. You can do concrete sealing, you can do roof blow offs, you can do gutter cleanings, gutter brightenings, just any little niche service that you don't see advertised for every day. Uh, it's just a good way to, like I said, get your foot in the door with customers that you wouldn't have been able to touch otherwise. Anyway, I wanted to share this with you guys because I thought it was pretty interesting. But if you guys made it this far in the video, comment down below a smiley face and I'll hashtag you a real one because every day that we get to wake up, and uh, we get a chance to do what we want and create a life that we want. We need to be happy about it. So if you comment down below a smiley face, I will hashtag you a real one. I know this was a short one. I just wanted to share it with you guys because I thought it was super interesting. And uh, I never really knew it existed. I kind of did, but kind of didn't. So anyway, my name is Justin. This is Forever Self-Employed. Until next time, hustle hard and get that money, baby. Peace.